Okay, you guys, I t earlier today I recorded a video about the strategy with the ocean wave, and you can see that price action just dropped like a rock for the AUD pairs because uh, news came out on them on inflation. And so let me show you some results. I posted this in my private group already, just showing them. Uh, this is earlier today. I will show you guys these trades while they were still running, some of them. The US 30 that I did, you seen it live in the video I recorded yesterday because you're watching this to, to the next day, uh, follow up video. So at the time when I recorded the video, I had the US 30 open. You can see it hit the take profit. All of these AUD pairs hit. Um, this one, which I checked, and I'll show you on the charts momentarily. This one, uh, it did win. I just closed it out earlier personally, and I'll show you that. And then this one hit take profit. So in just a matter of hours, one, two, three, four, five, six trades, and I'm in number seven with gold. Um, so here's the deal. Uh, so you can see the price has dropped like a rock. Here's where price action is over here. Um, so you can see that. All right. So all I did with the ocean wave, uh, by the way, it does come with a scanner. You don't have to purchase it early. So uh, let me show you guys this before I go to the charts. So on my settings, you can add as you know up to 40 pairs to scan, and then you can choose all these different time frames if you want. The only one I want is right here. I want the 15 minute time frame. Okay, I want that one active to send me alerts to my phone. Why? Because once I get a 15 minute alert, then I can go to my charts. And I can see this arrow. OK, so once the arrow came out to me, then I start taking a look down here to see if all of how many of these are matching. And you'll get a full tutorial on this uh, video tutorial because I always provide video tutorials if you purchase it. Uh, but right here, you can see that it was going down mostly um, all these time frames match. But the other thing is I just checked on the one hour time frame and that's all it was. Two steps, really. Uh, basically, you take a glance, boom, 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 all of that says down, MACD is below the red line, red, 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 okay, cool. Step number two, go to the one hour and just see if the one hour match. Remember I said, we have a match, like that balloon pop the balloon show that's popular on YouTube now, okay? So we have a match. Price action is below my main wave. You can see this is the main wave. So that's telling you it's a downtrend and the arrow that came out actually matched. So. That's all you do. So right here, you could have got in earlier and you just had to wait and wait, wait, wait patiently because it was in consolidation and then boom, the drop happened. So I just closed out that trade, which you can see right here. OK, so that is uh, that pair is which one? Uh, that's the AUD USD. You can see that just hit target AUD CAD. Let me show you that one. And I have a special guest coming to class. Uh, well, you have to watch the replay because by the time you watch this video, it'll already be over. Uh, but if I post it early enough, you guys can still see it. Come to class tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have It's free and open to the public. The uh, class link, the Zoom link is in the description below. And if that's full, then you're just going to have to watch me uh, as I live stream to the YouTube channel. But anyway, so that is AUD CAD. You can see massive wind right here. And that's AUD CAD, AUD CHF, or the AUD Swiss. Let's check that out. Winner there. Okay, now I told you about CAD Swiss. Uh, so there you go. You can see I actually won, but I just closed it out early. But same strategy. Look, main wave is here. See the wave at the top, the yellow main, wide, main line? It's wavy, waving downward. So basically, price action was down, got an alert, 15 minute arrow, and there you go. And it gave me some good profit. So I took it early. Uh, GBP CHF, same, pretty much same thing. Rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Same thing. All right. So that one you can see actually did hit take profit right here. See, GBP CHF, that one hit take profit. And all I was, we had boom, boom, boom. Most of these were down. MACD was down. Good. Check the one hour. And there you go. Pretty simple strategy. Now, we did do a buy trade. I did a buy trade on the industry, US 30. And let's go take a look at that one. So on the US 30, that one was a buy. And I did show you guys proof of that. I posted it um, once it closed. So let's look at the 15 minute arrow. And that was the 15 minute arrow. You can see price action shot up. But all I had to do was see, look, mostly green at the time of the arrow. Price action was still showing a little bit below. So I had this was a little bit risky because the MACD was still a little bit low right here at the time. So that was a risk that I was willing to take, um, but nevertheless, the main confirmation was the one hour. And you can see price action was above the main wave. That you can see for mines, when it's low going down downtrend, you can change these colors to whatever you want in the settings on the ocean wave. 
but for the uptrend, I want it to be green. Okay, and you can see price action on the one hour was green, and therefore, and it was above the main wave. So that was up above the main wave, and so the arrow came in, and it was up above the main wave. So that's all I was looking for. See, when it got a down arrow, if it doesn't match where the price action currently is above the main wave, then I ignore it. Okay, so this time I took it, and you can see, boom, it spiked up real quick, hit my take profit, and then dropped right back down to the neutral zone. So that explains the winner right here on the US 30. So how many trades is that? One, two, three, four, five, six right there. Six in a row. And all of these were today. See, Ocean Wave just sent me an alert. Let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, all right, let's take a look at this one. Then I'll show you the gold trade. So here's the scanner. And see, scanner is showing me Euro AUD has a buy. So you don't have to go to a different chart. You just click on it. And it'll take you there. Okay, take you there. All right. See, it already in the shot up, so basically I don't want that one. That one's already gone. So then we'll click on this one, and it says there's a buy trade. Okay. And uh, that one shot up already, too, so it's already gone. But if I would have taken it, no, I would have ignored it. Why? Because it's below the main wave. And then you hit the back button, and you go back. See? You only need one tab open at the bottom. You don't have to have a bunch of them when you... Uh, get this thing set up, the scanner, you only need this one running. It'll check all of these different time frames. And then it has a click to open feature, which when you click on here, it'll open it up and you take a look, see if you like it. If you don't, then click the back button and wait for the next alert. Okay. All right. So that's pretty much it. So let's take a look at gold because I am in a gold trade right now. Uh, and let's take a look at the 15 minute. And oh, I'm already in profit. See, see that? I'm already in profit already already and you can see that most of these are green macd is green see and you just double click and there you go green arrow most of these are green green right here then go to the one hour and price action just went above actually you know what i'm sorry let me go back this one i took off the five minute uh five minute time frame that's what i was looking at because you can do it off the i can do either the 115, which I call it the 115 because you can take it off the one minute time frame. Let me just scrunch it up like this. You can take it off the one minute time frame or the five minute and do the five minute and check your 30 minute as your confirmation. And as you can see, price action is above the 30 minute time frame. That's why you have a neutral zone. This is cutting it close, but you know, that's okay. Um, so I got that five minute arrow, but the one I like better is actually the 15 minute and the one hour. And so therefore, you can see price action is just creeping above right there. So realistically, this one is cutting it close, but you can see that price action is above the neutral zone. OK, so here's the yellow line showing that it was a downtrend. Now it's above the it's in the neutral zone. It hasn't turned green yet. It hasn't turned green yet to for buy arrow on the one hour, but that's OK. I don't need it to. I just need to see the price action is above the main wave for buys below the main wave for sales on the one hour time frame, drop to that 15 minute, and you can see this is why I took that trade, okay? So this one I expect it to pop and do a nice little pop of Ruzi, okay? So basically I'm just waiting for that pop and then go from there, okay? And the smarter place to put this stop loss is below the main wave right there, okay? And I can do this right here. And I'm just using a small account right now, just playing around with this strategy. Like I said, it's not finalized, but so far it's pretty, pretty neat. Uh, working very, very well for me. Um, and you can see, okay, so again, we have one came in. I got in this one a little bit late. I should have got in back here because I would already be in deeper profit, but that's okay. Uh, by the time I checked it, it was already right here, which is okay. Um, and so both that is there, that's there, that's okay. It's above the red line. Check the one hour is price action above the wave. And yes, it is above the wave. It's in the neutral zone. That's what this blue stands for neutral. So I don't need a buy arrow on the one hour. I just need to see the price action is above the main wave. And it is check back on the 30 minute. Clearly it's above the main wave. 15 minute, clearly above the wave. Okay. So that's why I took this buy trade. Again, this one is cutting it a little bit close. Um, but you know, let's go, let's go, let's go. Cause I'm already in profit. As you can see, I'm already in profit. Like I said, had I caught it right here, 
And I just turned my scanner on earlier today, turned it back on. I was doing some other things and turned it off. Had I had it on, I would have actually got in earlier right here. And I would already be in way more profit because you can see it and moved up. But profit is profit. So no complaints there. If this one wins, that would make me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row. Seven wins in a row. Okay. So I'll create a thumbnail and post this up. And then what I'm going to do, um, I won't be taking any more trades until after the Fed news announcement, um, which is coming out. Um, and, you know, that comes out uh, the, uh, by the time you watch this video, because I'm recording this tonight. But by the time it comes out tomorrow, um, it will be, let's see, the Euro got a lot of news coming out. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm, am I wrong? No. Hold on, on the news. No, I was right. Okay, so early in the morning, you got um, USD coming out with the ADP job reports. But then that evening, the afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, you got the Fed interest rate announcement. So the market is going to go wackety, wackety, whack. So um, if this hasn't moved enough, I'll just take this little small profit by the, before the news announcement and close it out. It'll still be a winner, even if I close it out right now. It'll still be a winner. Um, but you know, so be it. So be it. All right. So at least you guys are seeing me trade this stuff live and nobody can say, oh, he's making up stuff and this and that because I'm trading it live in front of you guys to show you proof. And uh, again, if you want to get the Ocean Wave system, just go to our website, OceanWaveTrade.com, or you can get it off of our main website and click on the link to it, which is SuperEasyForex.com. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoy recording this for you guys so that you guys can see some real live trades for yourself and see how this stuff works. Okay. All right.